How y'all doing? This is Rob Burn. I'll meet you here for your man R&B in this another episode of Richard Land Comments. This time I'm doing another episode of Movie Reviews. This time we're reviewing Mulan. What happens with Mulan is it a show starts off with Mulan's a little girl, and Mulan's not this girly girl type girl. She's kind of a tomboy, and she likes fighting, and then she likes uh, hearing stories about her father when she, he's at war and all this other stuff. And what happens is, is it goes to present day and they're trying to get Mulan matched to get married. And the matchmaker is kind of getting fed up with Mulan because she keeps quote unquote desiring her and her family because of the way she is. Well, what happens is, is the kingdom winds up being attacked by this, uh, this warrior who is trying to kill the emperor because the emperor killed his father in battle. And, uh, the king's uh, guard or whatever comes and tells the people of Mulan's village all men had to fight to end the war. But Mulan's father doesn't have a son, so he's going to have to go fight in the war himself, even though he's pretty much crippled because he was hurt during the, war, the last war. And Mulan uh, steals her father's armor and her, his sword and poses as a man and goes off and joins the army. Well, she starts getting trained and she becomes a good, uh, great warrior. And throughout the battle with the, the enemy army, Mulan uh, takes off her armor and shows that she's a woman. And then her uh, captain pretty much disowns her, dishonors her, does her leave, and she's exiled. So instead of leaving Mulan, tracks down the witch that's working with the main bad guy and she leads him to the main bad guy and this big inner fight happens between Mulan and the the, the warrior that's trying to kill the emperor. Mulan's able to defeat him in battle and she gets honored by the emperor and the emperor wants to make her a part of his uh, elite uh, warriors or whatever, a captain of the guard pretty much. And at first she declines it. She wants to go back to see her father and her family. And she goes there and then the guard comes and honors her with the sword like they did with her father. And But uh, he got another symbol on there uh, of devotion to family. And then they offer her the, the position again and she takes it this time. And other than that, that's all that really happened. My question for y'all is, if y'all ever watched Mulan, would y'all like that? As always, you're up to make it. I'm going to be saying that. That's you, you lost me. Another episode of Richard Lane Comics. See you next time.